guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're back here with another episode of Weekender Lander, episode 14, I believe. It's a little series I do where it's vehicular-based adventure, mini overland, camping, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, this trip, Ashley and I and a couple of my buddies, Philip, my Toyo on Instagram, and AJ, photo runner on Instagram. If you're into Instagram, check them out and check me out too. We went out down to Telluride, Ure, for technically we were there four nights, but only really two full days. And we tried to cram a lot into those two full days. Ashley had some things she wanted to see. It was fall, so all the aspen leaves were changing colors. She wanted to go on a couple quick hikes and we wanted to catch food in Telluride and Ure. So we basically planned the trip, fitting those kind of activities into a bunch of trails. The weather was okay. It kind of snowed on us one night. It was super windy at nights, but I managed to get some video and I managed to put together a couple videos. This is the first of two. It's gonna be a two-part Weekender Lander because there's so much to show out there and it's so beautiful. Uh, definitely one of the most beautiful off-road destinations in America. So worth checking out. Uh, probably shouldn't say that because it's gonna drive more crowds there. But really fun trip. I hope you enjoy it. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. They sponsored a previous video and were like, hey, that was fun. Can we sponsor a couple more? And I said, yeah, that sounds cool. So anyways, they're a subscription box uh, for, for people that like waxed canvas and leather and wood-handled knives and axes and classy drinkware and good fragrances, that kind of stuff. They gave me a code LAST20, which will save 20% off of your first box. If you're into it, I'll put links down below. So thanks for sponsoring the video. They sent out a few boxes. I'm gonna talk about this one real quick because I'm gonna do an upcoming video where this tool will come in handy. It's like a knife, saw, trowel, can opener, pommel. And they probably didn't want me to talk about this specific aspect in their little sponsorship section. So that's done and we're just moving on to talk now. The video is gonna be about taking dumps in the woods, pooping in the woods, right? Uh, if you spend enough time outdoors, you're gonna need to do some business out there. And I get asked questions all the time. Some in comments, some in messages. I think people are a little shy, so I get quite a few emails about this and they say, what do you do when you need to poop? So I'm gonna do a video answering that because there's a lot of options and I take my fair share of uh, adventure dumps out in the woods. So there's a right way to do it and there, there's, there's several right ways to do it and then there's some wrong ways to do it. So I'm gonna make a video talking about that. So that's coming up in the future, but feel free to ask questions down below if you have any. So if you've noticed in the background is my Land Cruiser, it got a paint job, a bunch of different accessories. It's in like the phase one kind of stage of my ownership. I'm gonna try and take it on a trip this weekend uh, out camping. So hopefully I can do that and then that video will be a Weekender Lander video coming up. So yeah, I don't know. I, I was gonna like talk about the trip more and and, and give you some insight into the trip. Maybe I'll do some of that at the end, but I don't know. Let's just go ahead and get into this little adventure right now. here in Telluride, Yore, day one. The sun's not up yet. It's a little before seven. Looks like it's kind of starting to come up over there. You can already see the trees. So, join us on a little journey. Is this what you do? This is how Basically, you do it? Basically, yeah. <laughs> We're out here. See, I don't have that cool little screen though. Yeah, but it distracts you. You look at it too I much. I know, you're like, hey. Okay. But then you can see like my hair looks kind of dumb. My hat looks really good though. All right, we're out here at the beginning of Yankee Boy Basin. I gotta get my 
tire before it's done deflating. We're gonna try to do Yankee, Imogene, get in the Telluride, and then I don't know. We'll see. It's beautiful out here. Sun's finally up, and the colors are unreal. It's gonna be a good day. So we just went and did Yankee Boy Basin, uh, and it was beautiful. We're continuing on. We kind of have a lot of agenda today, so we're continuing on to Imogene or Imogene. So we'll be hitting that next, but just super beautiful, beautiful landscape. No problem, Bobby. We're good. Good. We're here in Imogene, and there are just breathtaking views all around. As my old friend Steve Irwin would say, it's gorgeous. So this is called Poser Rock. It looks super windy.
the uh, top summit. Don't you run away. I'm a gene, I'm a gene. It's nice, it's nice. Tell your eyes down that way. But equally, if not more beautiful, is where we came from. The Yore side is over here. I'll get there, I promise. We're almost there. So we're just above 13,000 feet of elevation right now. As Ashley would say, it soups pretty up here. Soups pretty. Super pretty. Got some prings, pringies. The best. We got Philip the Fast. Hold on. This is a good perspective shot to see how much bigger the ram is. Okay, bye. Looking good, girl. We've made it into Telluride. Super windy though, so I don't know if you can hear me. We're gonna go grab some pizza. Pizza time. This was Ashley's request. She's gonna climb up on my truck to get a picture, apparently. Look at this daredevil of a dog up here. Not gonna lie, I was skeptical coming out. Very beautiful. Brideville Falls, very beautiful. You all right, babe? Someone's getting married. Congratulations. All right, I'm gonna take a picture. Do like a flippy thing with your hair. Flip it. Flip it around. Flip it. Oh, okay. I'm taking a video, actually. Oh, yeah. Getting those angles. Getting those angles. So 
we are on Ophir, or Ophir Pass. Nobody knows how to pronounce it in our group. Uh, but we're coming up on this part. And there's a guy up there who is apparently stuck. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Maybe we're gonna have to turn around. All right, getting ready for bed. Didn't film much, it's super windy, so it wouldn't come through very well. We just made a quick dinner, got ready for bed. Uh, AJ's in bed, Philip's in bed. We only slept like four hours yesterday, last night, um, and it was a long day. And today was a long day, so we're all pretty beat. So, yeah, I'll fill you in in the morning. Good night. How's it going? It's the morning, it's raining and sleeting out. I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, but it's too windy to really film any talking stuff. So we came on this trip to see the trails, but also to hang out and, and socialize. So the weather's kind of too crappy to do that right now. So we're probably gonna drive uh, to Yore and just hit a restaurant for breakfast before we get back out on the trail. Uh, Cause we can talk over the ham while we're driving and kind of hang out at the restaurant. And hopefully the weather kind of passes by then. So I don't have much to show you this morning, just because, because of this. some other trails on the east side of 550. So it should be a good day. I think we'll get breaks in weather enough to do some filming and some good photos. So looking forward to it. Okay guys, that was it again. I'm splitting this into like two parts and this video was kinda 
random. I just kind of filmed when I could. The weather was kind of weird and spotty. And I feel a little weird doing these kind of videos when I'm on like a really tight schedule to do everything we need to do and I'm with some friends. So usually in these videos I talk a little more, give a little more advice, I'm a little more candid, like give the camera a little more attention. But you know, this one I didn't. Anyway, get subscribed for part two. Again, this is my Land Cruiser. I'm gonna try and take it out this weekend, hopefully. So there will be a Weekender Lander trip of its maiden voyage, and then I'm gonna do a walk around video of the Land Cruiser. So if you have any questions about the Land Cruiser specifically, ask them down below. Okay, so some questions. I've been doing YouTube for a while now. I started by putting like very little effort like pretty low quality and then it kind of got a little better quality and I put a little more effort and then I tried to start doing like videos once a week and kind of usually did that. Anyway, I'd like to up my production quality and do more interesting videos. So I'm always looking for feedback from you guys, from the viewers. So if you, ha if you like specific videos, like let me know down below. If you wanna see more of specific videos, let me know down below. If you like gear reviews, like let me know what kind of gear you want me to review if you like more survival videos like let me know what kind of survival type stuff you want to see or prepper videos or or self-defense type stuff or off-roading or rig walk arounds or modifications or if you really just like the weekender lander series like let me know what aspects you like or you want to see more of or what you would like to maybe see that I don't do I'm just looking for feedback down below so leave me some Leave me some feedback because I'm really interested in it. Stuff that I use in these videos, I always link to in the video descriptions below. I have coupon codes with a bunch of sites and discounts and like affiliate relationships. So if you're looking to save money or you're just looking to help the channel, just go to llod.us slash coupons and that's all the ways that you can save money with strategic partnerships that I've made to help you guys save money and when possible affiliate links where I can make a small percentage of money by you guys buying cool stuff at no extra cost to you. So it's a great way uh, for people to support what I'm doing here, basically making free videos for you. If you wanna take a one step extra, I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash LLOD. I sell some stuff, beanies, gun holsters, accessories, gear, belts, that kind of stuff, uh, as well at llod.us. So check that out. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate the views. Hit that thumbs up button. If you have nothing to say, just comment for the algorithm. Get subscribed to the channel, notification squad, all that stuff. Check out my buddies. I'll link them down in the video description below. And until next time, guys, take care.